you know, that I'm even working with that camera, period. Uh, but I feel like it, it's valuable to use a tool um, at my stage of f working as a photographer, as an artist, that slows me up. When we're in a culture that's so high speed, and to have arrived at this point where um, I'm forced to, wait, to work in a way that's really, you know, in a very profound way, more introspective, more meditative, to take my time, um, to try to make less pictures and to invest more in the pictures that I make. Um, I think that was often peculiar, but at times that also was what sort of in a way um, proved my innocence because I just stayed with it and they would see me again. I mean, I, I think, you know, I was on the radar map of, the, you know, of all law enforcement at the Democratic Convention, but by the time I got to the Republican Convention and I position myself for that picture that I made where you see the Fox News billboard, they got really friendly because they just figured that I was kind of a nut, you know, but that I didn't mean any harm. And so, and in fact, they also, you know, they tried to get me up on top of the Holiday Inn behind me, but then there was some liability issues. So, uh, in a way, you know, just, uh, it's, it just, I'm hoping that things can just sort of relax a little bit. I think there was a, a, a kind of real um, xenophobic kind of thing that we were going through uh, in those years. Hi, Mitch. Um, you mentioned that uh, in your experience doing this work, um, you came to find that there were powers within powers. Uh, can you expand a bit more on that experience? And do you, ha do you see these powers coming together and, and making a change? Uh, can you expand a little bit more about that experience you had in, in seeing these uh, powers? being uh, hidden within other powers. Well, first, um, I want to th publicly thank Ephraim, who's uh, this fantastic trainer that's keeping me uh, youthful, because it was his idea that I go to the Iowa 80 truck stop. Uh, and so, thank you for that. Um, What is interesting to me right now is just the way um, the business of energy is getting played out in very um, intense political circles. And it, it, it just s struck me, I mean, I'll tell you one example of, uh, of, of a kind of history of event that just um, was just beyond my comprehension because I, you know, I went t to Denver um, and was part interested in photographing around the convention because they were advocating it as a green convention and they were offering free bicycles and trying to do recycling and um, at least on the surface uh, uh, um, presenting themselves as, as forward thinking in, in a green way. At the same time, one of the primary sponsors was the coal industry and they had these uh, big billboards behind trucks that they were driving around uh, promoting this whole notion of clean, clean coal. Um, and I was a little taken aback by that and then I drove from there up to Gillette, Wyoming and uh, um, coal mining practices um, are not clean and coal burning is not clean and there is this idea that coal will become clean but just the way that industry functions um, using the tools of advertising and lobbying. Um, uh, and it led me to, uh, later in the year, I was um, at home as I was, in a way, beginning to kind of wrap this project up at, uh, and thinking about the text. And there were, they, they went so far, this coal, coal industry, to use um, 
the um, how's the ditty go? I'm just like blanking here. Uh, F Frosty the yeah, Frosty the Snowman became Frosty the Coal Man, um, and to to just even in a way feel that they could take the license of something that is uh, um, you know kind of this innocent, uh, very playful, childlike. Um, 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 song um, and co-opted um, through advertising um, t toward their end. So the, 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 the kind of subversive ways that c power gets played out um, um, as I said earlier the, 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 the fact that um, corporations found the, 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 home, the situation with Homeland Security as an opportunity uh, to protect themselves um, and to insulate themselves um, from the public. So in a way, this whole portrait uh, of a kind of, of the American landscape, I think, speaks to this kind of, the depth of the complexity of the subject. Um, and so that's what I have to say. Actually, I was going to ask a question about portraiture. Thanks, Mitch. Um, I, what I love about this book is this um, incredibly careful insertion of the portraiture. And other than the golfers and the Niagara Falls couple, many of the people in, your, in this work are very much within their environment. You're depicting them kind of connected to their power environment. And I want to know, but there's very little. So is there like a bunch of portraits that we haven't seen? Is it like, what is the role or how did people that you met along this way kind of fold into the process? And how did photographing them kind of relate to the rest of the work, which is more landscape based? I, I never set out in a premeditated way to make portraits as part of this project. In fact, it, it really um, is more of a landscape kind of project and I wanted to make pictures that had breadth and had scope so often the people in them were um, they were figures within the landscape kind of punctuating elements um, but there were times where I came across um, people who either I had a direct experience with like Beulah Hearn with her gun and her surveillance cameras or the father and son um, who were at the motocross track in Texas that spoke symbolically to some of what I wanted the project to touch on and I just you know basically when I work it's not that I have an agenda per se I'm making I'm going from picture to picture and experience to experience and just doing the best that I can to make pictures that um, that are going to work. Um, so yes, there are other portraits. Um, but I think the portraits that I have included or the pictures of people that I've included um, are ones that can speak in a you know in a larger metaphorical way to the to the, to the, to the populace um, and they are ones that um, that also speak to the subject to the theme i mean the, the the challenge I gave myself was to to let the project broaden um, but the the pictures always had to relate back to the subject of energy energy was the linchpin um, and so if I made a portrait, say, of, that I liked of, say, two traveling, you know, Jehovah's Witness proselytizers in um, the Wheeling, West Virginia, even though that was near industry that I was photographing, it was too much on the tangent. So those pictures got edited out. Um, and in a way, for me, it's how... Um, Many of the best pictures can come forward, but then also weave together in a way that's seamless and persuasive.